Okay guys, I'm back. I have been asked about preparing your apples to be dipped. And this is how I prepare my apples. I have two mini Granny Smith green apples and two medium size. And my water has come to a boil. And what I do is, since it's at a boil, I use my little deep fryer thingy to put these apples in there. And I only have one hand, so I have to be very careful. And there's the other two. And I just roll them around a little bit to make sure they're fully covered with my boiling water. It's just boiling water, nothing else. And I'm going to put them in my cold water. Hope you can see this, guys, because I only have one hand. I'm working with one hand. And I'm going to turn my water off. And now that they're in my cold water, I just roll them around a little bit. Put this there. I have a towel. I'm going to put them on. If I'm doing apples for someone, I don't put them on a towel. I put them on my mat and dry them with paper towels. But since I'm just doing a demonstration and I'm going to practice on these apples, I'm using my towel. And there you go. And I let them sit for about 24 to 48 hours. It depends. I let all the sap come out and I let them get dry all the wax off and what I'll do is when I see the wax I'll re-rinse them and I'll clean them clean the wax completely off and that is what makes your apples bubble free when they are squeaky clean before dipping and sitting 24 to 48 hours you do not have to worry about bubbles in your apples. They come out very, very pretty and bubble free. And that's how I clean my apples. And these apples I'm going to be practicing on. And I'll come back and show you what I did with these apples. Stay tuned for the next video. And thanks for watching, guys.